What's going on everybody, Physio Trader here, and today I want to answer a question that I got asked in the comment section, and I think uh, after reading the question, it's a great question, and it kind of made me think why uh, the question was asked, and I did something different or I did something wrong, and um, so let me kind of show you what the question is, and we'll jump right into it. So um, what we see over here, this was from a member, Tasty Chicken, really cool uh, 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 you know, handle there, but uh, uh, he was referring to one of the videos I made on how to set up hotkeys on Charles Schwab Street Smart Edge. And he says, isn't it buy limit delta to be plus five on your setting and then sell limit delta to be minus five? And I, what he's meaning is plus 0 0.05 and minus 0 0.05 uh, because you're buying and you're willing to pay an extra five cents max to get the shares and you're selling, uh, you're willing to get... Uh, less of five cents to get rid of the shares. And then he put the, the timestamp in which case um, the video uh, was being referred to. And so um, what I wanna do is I wanna take you over to Schwab really quickly. And so what I've got over here is I've got, uh, well you can see AMC's up, I'm actually in it uh, in one of my, my uh, accounts. Here, let's just do this. Um, we're just gonna move it to an account that doesn't have anything in right now, so we kinda, you know, forget about that. So, um, what he's referring to is these uh, settings, um, and we're gonna go over to trading, equity hotkeys. He, so he's talking about the hotkeys that, like I said, the video. So with Charles Schwab, when you short, uh, this right now I've got you on the option side, but when you short, uh, there's a separate short button as compared to the uh, sell button. So when you, you sell, if you're long, you're already in a position, uh, you're buying and you're trying to sell to close, you would have a separate short button to do that. So that's just, you know, kind of showcase that. Uh, what he's referring to is right here. So my delta, he said plus five, uh, what he meant was 0.05 and uh, minus 0.05. So uh, what he is saying, and he's not wrong, and I'm not wrong either, and that's uh, what I wanna kinda showcase. Um, so right here, control S is to sell, um, and per 100 shares. Um, so I am trying to sell on the bid minus 0.01, and uh, I'm trying to buy on the ask 0.01 buy. So why do I have it there and why is he saying differently? So what he is saying differently is, he's saying is, should I buy um, plus 05, meaning I wanna buy and I want to, you know, uh, because you're willing to pay an extra five cents max to get the shares, uh, yeah, if you're willing to pay more than what is on the bid ask spread, the bid being the best buyer, the ask being the best seller. Um, So his sell limit, five cents, meaning when he's selling, he's willing to take um, a you know sell limit uh, minus another five cents and saying, okay, I'm willing to lose another five cents on that because I wanna get out. Uh, absolutely right. The big difference is you have to question is, are you trying to sell on the bid or are you trying to sell on the ask? Um, or you can actually just mark it out if you're just saying, you know, I just want out right now. The reason I have it set where I'm going to sell on the bid minus one, and that means essentially is if I'm if I'm using my hotkey, I'm basically saying just get me out of the position right now. I'm not saying I have time to go to the order entry window, point in the number I wanna do. I'm normally at this point, I'm at a, a loss, and I'm trying to, to minimize my losses as fast as possible, or I'm uh, there's a quick spike up on my sell, so I'm in. I'm long in shares, there's a quick spike up, and I basically wanna guarantee that I get filled. I basically wanna ensure that I get filled. Now, if there's a better order, if there's a better price, then I'm gonna get the better price. That's how the, 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 the programs are designed to work. They're always gonna give you the best price possible. You're just basically cutting out time for that hotkey. And then same thing when I'm buying, the reason I'm buying on the ask, which is means I'm already willing to pay whatever the best seller is willing to sell, and I'm willing to pay one cent more, basically trying to guarantee me the opportunity to enter the trade. I'm trying to guarantee me the opportunity to get in. Uh, that would be if I am, uh, like I said, I'm either short and I'm trying to get out quick, or if there is a, um, 
a, a spike. There's a, you know, we're, we're in a, like a flag pattern, so to speak, and there's a, a really quick spike to the upside, and I'm trying to just ensure I get in. I'm basically saying, just get me in the position right now. I'm willing to pay one penny more whoever is selling. Like, I'm willing to outbid the, the lowest seller by one penny to say, get me in in this position. And so it really depends. Uh, you're, you're perfectly welcome. You can pick whatever number you want. I did, you know, just a penny. Um, you know, some people, they do, you know, 50 cents. You know, if you're working with stocks like Amazon or Tesla, you know, a one penny slippage isn't going to get you anywhere. If you are working with, you know, penny stocks, then you're probably not even going to want to have a delta at all. It just depends on what you're doing. It depends on what your, you know, your risk tolerance is. Uh, but it is a very good question. And I think, you know, it goes without saying that he is right and I am right as well. It just depends on what, uh, really what kind of strategy you're playing. Are you trying to play breakouts and breakdowns? Then you'd probably want to have it more like mine. Um, if you're trying to just play more like a panic sell and then you're trying to just buy on the spike up then you would do it more like a, a you know tasty chicken said so it really just depends on whatever your strategy is uh, but nevertheless um, really the point is that i just want everybody to know is is what these are actually saying and then so uh, for those of you if you don't know what the inside bid and ask is uh, let's just kind of showcase this real quick so we'll just go over so right here is the order book the book is this is where uh, people are buying and selling and this is the tape so the order book uh, right here, this top number, 43.56, uh, that is the best bid, the inside bid. Um, and right here, 43.59 is the best ask, the inside ask. So I'm essentially saying is I want to sell higher uh, or I'm willing to buy more than that. Basically, I want to get in right now and, or I want to sell even cheaper than this, meaning I just want to get in right now. Now, now that the, the stock itself is moving much, so we got AMC right now, now that the stock is moving much slower, um, it certainly is, um, you know, going slower. But when, when you have a stock that is fresh breaking out right now and you don't want to miss that trade, you are, you know, it's going up and you're trying to buy in because you think you're going to get this big spike then uh, you certainly don't have time to, to kind of fiddle with the order. So it really just depends what your strategy is. But either way, great question. If you have any more questions like that, you know, please let me know. Um, but so thank you so much for watching. If you have any more questions, please let me know in the comment section. If you have not already done so, please like and subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of the channel. And I will catch you all next time.